Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to install VS Code on Windows and Mac and config VS Code to code faster by installing required extensions. If you are ready, let's start. In the address bar, type VS Code and press enter. You are going to install Visual Studio Code on this computer. Download for Windows. If you are using another operating system, you can download them here. Use the stable one. Download for Windows. You will be redirected to this page and it starts downloading VS Code in your downloads folder. After downloading, click on it. Click on Run and Accept. Select the default options and click on Install button. Click on Finish and there we are. We have Visual Studio Code opened in our computer. Make it maximize and go back to Google Chrome and install Node.js. Type Node.js and press enter. Here click on Node.js. You will be redirected to Node.js.com slash en and then click on this version, the LTS version of Node. I'm using version 16 and let's download it. After download, click on it. Open the installer of Node.js. Click next and next again. Select default options and install Node.js on your computer. And the last thing that we're gonna install here is Git. Type Git and press enter and select this one git s cm.com click on it select download and based on your operating system select the right one i'm using windows click here to download the latest version and then click on installer file click yes and there we are click on next here we are going to install git bash and git ui select default options next next Select default one, click on next, next again, default options, default, default one, next, next, click on install. So what I did is to accept default options to install Git on Windows. Awesome. It says completing installation of Git and click on finish. Press escape and let's go to VS Code. And from terminal menu, select new terminal. And instead of default shell, which is PowerShell, I'm going to use Git bash, but I'm going to make it as a default profile. So click on select default profile. And by installing Git bash, we have this option here, select Git bash, then click on plus. And this time we have Git bash in Windows. So we can run linux like commands in windows and throughout this lesson we use this command style in the terminal let's test the version of git git dash dash version so we are using version 2.34.1 so your versions may be higher that's okay let's check the node version node dash dash version Awesome, we are using version 16.13.1. Check NPM version. We need all of them for this course. And we are using version 8.1.2. That's it about installing Google Chrome, Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and Git on Windows operating system. In this lesson, we are going to install development tools for Mac. The first tool is Code Editor. We are going to use Visual Studio Code in this course. Go to code.visualstudio.com and click on the download button here. Based on your operating system, you can select the right one. For my case, I click on Download Mac. You will be redirected to a new page. And after a few seconds, the file will be downloaded here. After download, you will have that file in your downloads folder and by double click on it, it extracts 
as a Visual Studio Code.app. Then open a new instance of Finder, right click, new Finder window, click on Applications, and drag Visual Studio Code app there. That's it. You will have Visual Studio Code in your Applications folder. Then double click on Visual Studio Code, or you can press Command Space and type code to find Visual Studio Code in Spotlight. Click on it, and there we are. Maximize VS Code. The next tools is Node.js. Go to this address, nodejs.org slash en, and download the LTS version of it. It's version 16. Click on it. It takes a while to download latest version of Node on your computer. Double click on the downloaded file to open the wizard of installation of Node. Click on continue, continue, agree, continue, install. Enter your password, your Mac password, and there we are. It's installing Node.js on the Mac. Click on close and click on move to trash the installer file. Nice. Let's go for the last one. We use git in this course, so we need to install it. Go to git.scm.com and then click here, download for Mac. You will be redirected to this page and you need to follow the instruction here. The simplest way is doing this, using brew install git. Press command space and type terminal, select terminal and run brew install git. It updates brew and then the git. That's it about installing git. If you already have Xcode on your Mac, git is already installed. Let's check the versions of git and node in VS Code. In the VS Code, we have integrated terminal. From terminal menu, click new terminal and there we are. You don't need to use the external and standalone terminal in Mac. Instead of it, we use integrated terminal inside VS Code. Let us start by checking the version of Git. Git dash dash version. Uh -huh. We are using version 2.34.1. Check the node version. You can use dash V here. We are using version 16. And check NPM. It's version 8. So throughout this course, we use Git, Node, and NPM regularly. That's it about this lesson. In the next lesson, we configure VS Code to code faster, better, and smarter. Until that lesson, bye-bye. In this lesson, we are going to install extensions for VS Code to format the code and find the issues and errors in the code using ESLint. Let's start by installing a code formatter. We're gonna use Prettier for this purpose. Let's go to VS Code and install Prettier extension. Click on extensions icon and type Prettier in the search bar, Prettier. The first option, click on install and wait a moment to install Prettier on VS Code. Okay, it's time to test Prettier. What I'm gonna do is to create a JS file and enter some lines of code to make sure that Prettier format the code correctly. From file menu, select new and save the file in the desktop. Save it. Select your desktop and set the name to test.js. Then just write this code import react from react function app return dev class name test hello world export default app. This code is not formatted because here we have two space. It should be single code, not double code. It should have semicolon. So I'm going to enable Prettier to format the code. Let's go for it. Click on Manage icon, select Setting, and here type Default Formatter. Default Formatter. Uh -huh. Here we have Default Formatter option. Select Prettier. The next step is gonna be 
setting format on save in the search box type format on save and enable format a file on save option let's go to the test and press ctrl s or you can select save from file menu awesome as you see extra space removed here we have semicolon and the code is formatted what i'm gonna do is to use single code instead of double code in the javascript go to the setting and type single code select prettier single code just select this one we're not gonna have single code in jsx select this and go to test.js and press ctrl s to save again the file as you see in the javascript we have single code and in the jsx we have double code that's the standard throughout this course the last setting is about bracket pair colorizer press ctrl shift p to open this box and type json here and select preferences open setting json as you see, we have all three settings here. I'm going to add a new setting for bracket pair colorizing. It's this. Put a comma here and inside double quote type editor.bracketpaircolorization.enable to true and enter the setting editor.bracketpaircolorization.enable to true. Save the file and go back to test js awesome here the bracket is in yellow color and it makes reading code easier and faster that's it about prettier let's go for the next extension we are going to use eslint as a linter for this project it uses the eslint package that we will install later on create react app and show all errors in your code and help you to code in the standard way click on install button and that's it it just installed we're not gonna test it in this lesson we will test the eslint in next lessons i'm going to install two extra optional extensions to code faster and they are just code a snippet let us start by javascript es6 code a snippet install it and the next is ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. To make sure that the snippets works, you can go to the test.js and type EMP and press tab to see the code snippet from JavaScript. And to test ES7 React, type RFC stand for React Functional Component and press tab to have a sample functional component in your code great we successfully installed the extensions that we need in this course they are eslint prettier javascript and react code a snippet also in the vs code setting we set the default formatter to prettier format on save to true and prettier single code to true and at the end we set bracket pair colorizing to use colored curly bracket and parentheses in the code that's it about this lesson until next lesson bye bye